Good morning from Krasnodar. We arrived here late last night. We took about a five hour train and we're just waking up. It's about seven in the morning. We're just gonna have some breakfast, drink, and then get out for a walk. So we rented an apartment and let's show you the view out of the window. We're in the center and down there is a food court. So we ended up going for a very traditional Russian breakfast. And we're ready to go out, so let's go have a look around Krasnodar. Shopping mall. Nice. Very convenient. It's like a brand new building, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's well pretty. They sell all sorts here. So my sister needs to go into the supermarket. And Adlan Sochi is a lot smaller than Krasnodar, so they would have quite a lot of things in the shop. So she said she bought all of those things now while she's got the opportunity. <laughs> So as I said earlier, we also live right opposite the food court and I think we're going there next because I can't really resist. Oh, there is a crossing. They do all sorts of, I forgot the word, cuisines in there. Vietnamese, Japanese, Korean, Georgian, Armenian, Russian, all sorts. And they even had a little place for kids. <laughs> so we resisted the food now, but we got bubble tea and some mochi to try because my brother and sister never tried it. And my sister was really excited about them. Um, yeah, it's a really cool place. I think we've seen quite a few of them around Russia, especially like bigger cities. We think that before there used to be like abandoned factories, but they've been redone into these cool new hipster places, which is awesome. Now let's try some mochi. Okay, so we got, this is the most boring flavor out of all, salty caramel. This one is lavender and blackcurrant. This one is blue cheese which has got cheese inside like cream cheese and 
Gorgonzola, I think it's pronounced, and this one is truffle. You know what bubble tea is. It's basically a beverage with some tapioca beans at the bottom. First time we tried them in Bangkok, I think, and they were sitting there in the mall, and I sometimes I just get these um, evil ideas in my head. And I remember doing it. I want to do it to my brother and sister, but I may regret it, but live once. <laughs> to give some context to what's happening when we were waiting for the tea about 10 minutes ago Julia's come over to me and whispered in my ear I'm going to spit the tapioca pearls at them and they obviously saw her whispering and ever since they've been going what were you whispering about like what's wrong what's wrong <laughs> so for 10 minutes she's been walking around like an evil genius going, oh, tapioca pearls <laughs> Так, Андрей, наверное. Какой? Какой ты будешь? Оп, оп, оп. Лаванда, смотри. Лаванда. Ого. Mm. Look at that, look at that. Just the lavender, smell it. Smell it, yeah. Lavender, yeah. Let's try lavender, yeah. Let's try it. Ah, look. There is um, black currant, like jam inside, and there is like lavender mousse, I guess. Wow. You can taste the lavender as well. And the black around that is amazing. That is so... I thought it could be a bit, you know, like, soapy. Mm -hmm. But now it's so fresh and light. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the truffle one. Really strong. Yes. Not good. Boy. Mm -mm. Why not? Seriously. That is disgusting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 right, let's give it a go. It's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that is vile. No. Do you know what? I actually thought they were all overreacting for the camera. <laughs> oh my god. Go spit it out. No way. Andy. <laughs> You're gonna say it's nice, aren't you? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> it's got a really, really strong aftertaste. Wow. No. no, you can just taste the chocolate, just. Yeah. But the mushroom flavor is so strong. Mm. It's like that's a real assault on the senses, isn't it? Because you've got the mm. chocolate, the sort of mushroom flavor, and then the texture in the mochi. That's sometimes things like that really work well. But like with cheese, like blue th cheese, that's amazing. It's like a bit salty, you know. It was just a bit yeah. too rich for me, but this. That is one of the most vile things I've ever tried, I think. Yeah, it's very, uh... Huh? Let's try and rescue the situation. Oh, this is salty caramel. This should be amazing. There's also a jam and a mousse in oh. there. That's not really strong salty caramel flavour. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. Это намного вкуснее. Особенно контраст. Ага, но после этого, да. Первые два самые вкусные. This is like cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Но первые два самые клевые. Третье самое фу. So, first two are the best. Third one is disgusting. The fourth one's quite nice. I think we spread it out pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna 
get back to spitting tapioca balls. I didn't want to say it, but yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you live. So we've just left the food market and we're heading to Krasna Street now, which is the main street through the centre of Krasnodar, literally running the length of the centre. And it's along here where all the best parks are, bars, restaurants. And at the moment, it's along here where the sun's facing. <laughs> so I can't see. So Krasnodar is actually the capital of the Krasnodar region where Sochi is located as well and it's one of the biggest cities in southern Russia. It's actually one of the fastest growing cities in the whole of Russia as well. And I think that's because it's had a lot of investment and the climate here is a lot warmer than let's say Siberia or even further northern parts of Russia like Moscow and St. Petersburg. And yeah, you can really see a lot of investment around the city itself. It's a lot newer than most Russian cities. You see in the centre here, there's a lot of building work. The place we're staying is incredibly new. Yes, a really beautiful city so far. This is a Krasnodar Luvre. It's actually a sure more joint. I, <laughs> I mean, that's my kind of art. So people from this part of Russia are often called Kubani and this entire region including the Krasnodar region is called Kuban and with its warmer climate this area is famous for its fruit, its vegetables and its amazing wines. Спасибо, Сидане. We just come inside an old Soviet shopping mall. There are lots of new ones across Krasnodar, but we just wanted to have a look inside this one. And they sell all sorts of things here. There are normal like shops, like grocery stores, and uh, lots of clothes. Yeah, all sorts of things. Underwear here, perfume, toys. Bags. It's very similar to a place that we went in Bishkek.
I found my heaven. I'm not leaving this spot all day now. Um, <laughs> someone scratched England out there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> for a little bit it's gonna come out later because yesterday when we were walking back home well, getting here actually it was really pretty because it was dark and the lights were on everywhere so we're gonna come out in a bit Right, so we wanted to come back out and show you a lot more of the city because it's so beautiful at night but to be honest it is absolutely freezing <laughs> and when we looked at the weather forecast it was showing that it was going to be quite warm here in Krasnodar but it's a lot colder than it was showing on the forecast itself so we're going to go back in warm up a bit so we'll see you at home Ты ничего не выиграешь. С тобой выиграл. Это точно. So we had a little incident this morning. We were watching Most Monsters Inc. and the sun was shining in our faces. And my sister went on to close the curtains and the curtain rail fell over. It was already sort of it was already broken. It was holding on still by a Salad tape and she didn't pull it or anything. She literally just put the curtain oh, gently, closed nice. it, and uh, the whole thing sure. sort of fell down. Yeah. And now they're all Victory. trying to fix it. I'm too short to help. Victory! You good? Yeah. Just turn the recording off right now. Right now. <laughs> Five minute guarantee. Сейчас что кровать будем на скорость заматывать? Нет. Эй! We said we see you at home last night, but we didn't film anymore. We just ended up watching films all evening, and now it's morning. <laughs> Surprise! And it's time to leave, so let's get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've taken a different route back towards the station than we did last time. And we've come off of the main street. And it's interesting how quick the city changes from the city center with all the brand new buildings to now this older, more, more Russian town feeling neighborhood, isn't it? This feels more like an average Russian town now when we've come out of the city center. A lot of smaller houses, smaller streets. It's a lot quieter. It's definitely not as flashy as the city centre. As center. the centre itself, yeah. It's definitely changed very quick. Yeah, that's, it, it has a, like, a different vibe to it. And I wish like, we had more time to walk around those streets. But unfortunately, my brother and sister have to study. So we have to return home today. And six hours later, we are back in Sochi. And that's the trip to Krasnodar done. We're back here for a little while before we head off again. So thanks for watching this one. And see you in the next one. Good.